हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स हैव यू सीन द प्रीवियस वीडियो इन विच आई टोल्ड यू हाउ टू हैंडल द टू डिजिट इंटीजर्स स्मार्टली वेदर यू आर गिवन फाइव इंटीजर्स सिक्स इंटीजर्स और टेन इंटीजर्स यू कैन एक्चुअली एड एंड सब्ट्रैक्ट दैम इन ए सिंगल लाइन विदाउट हैविंग टू राइट दैम वन बिलो दी अदर यूजिंग द ट्रेडिशनल अप्रोच सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सटेंड दैट मेथड एंड आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व सम प्रॉब्लम्स विच will contain uh, two digit three digit four digit as big as six digit integers also and you will see how the simplification becomes so easy if you know the basic uh, you know competency of uh, adding and subtracting single digit integers so if you are very good in doing minus 2 plus 3 minus 7 minus 8 plus 9 minus 4 minus 3 like that then big calculations like these are not going to matter I'll show you the last question which I'll be taking up here. You can see this calculation, and most of us will struggle in doing this. And even if you get a correct answer, how much time will you take to get to the correct answer for this? It's approximately, on an average, if you are very good in integers, you will take around forty-five seconds. So what if I tell you that you can do this in fifteen seconds? So that's three times the speed. so watch the entire video we will be solving this in the end of the video okay and if you have not yet subscribed the channel please do subscribe the channel by clicking the subscribe button here and clicking the bell shaped icon will enable you to get all the notifications of future uploads which i have been doing very recently all fresh videos for my dear subscribers so let's get on with the video and let's check The first question, which is two ninety four minus eighty seven plus eight thirty two minus nine six one. See, the number of digits are different now, so we don't need to worry. The same method works for uh, for these integers also. Likewise, here we have all three digit integers. Here also we have a two digit and a three digit integer. So let's see how the basic competency of adding single digit integers works here. This. is a two digit integer and so we need to be careful here okay so when you are considering the first digits 2 minus there is no digit here in place of 2 the 100 place is 0 right so i will put a 0 plus 8 minus 9 so these are the numbers which you have to do very quickly in mind i will write here this is mental maths this is mm mental maths and this is not to be written so don't think that the question is too long or the solution which i am doing is too long it is all mental maths the second digit 9 minus 8 plus 3 minus 6 see i am just taking the second digit of all the numbers right here zero has already been taken so i have taken 8 now the third digits 4 minus 7 plus 2 minus 1 and if you can do this orally you will get to the numbers here you will have uh, 2 plus 8 10 minus 1 uh, 9 is 1 right so we will have a 1 and then here you will have 1 4 minus 2 and then minus 3 minus 1 mi uh, minus 2 again so these three numbers are to be uh, you know uh, approached very quickly by doing these mental calculations of corresponding digits and now what you do here is you have to observe whether first digit is positive or negative if it is positive the situation is easier for us so what are we going to do i am going to carry uh, uh, not carry exactly uh, this is like this minus 2 has to be converted to positive so it will borrow one from here and this will get subtracted from 10 so 10 minus 2 becomes 8 and since this gets reduced by 1 this is minus 3 and 1 now minus 3 borrows 1 and so your answer will be 8 and 10 minus 3 is 7 and the 1 becomes 0 so the answer is 78 itself now these three steps are actually the steps which you have to do and rest of it is mental maths so if these three are clear then the next two steps can be done in 3 or 4 seconds only let's see one more question like this so here we have all three digit numbers so quickly we can do 6 minus 4 minus 8 plus 7 and then 3 minus 2 minus 6 plus 3 
and then 5 minus 9 minus 6 plus 3 see corresponding digits now you have to be very quick in approaching the three numbers here the first one will be uh, 13 minus 12 1 and then 1 plus 3 is 4 4 minus 6 is minus 2 and likewise minus 15 plus 8 is minus 7 so 1 minus 2 and minus 7 so like in the uh, previous number here also we will be doing the same thing okay so let's borrow 1 from here this gets subtracted from 10 so this becomes 3 and now this becomes minus 3 and this becomes 1 so borrow 1 again so 3 and 10 minus 3 is 7 and this becomes 0 so 73 is the answer no writing one below the other and finding the answer directly let's do it for uh, a mixed bag of numbers here one more and then we'll move on to four digit and five digit numbers also so here you can see it's a two digit number so let's put a zero and begin with zero itself zero minus six plus five minus two and then second digit eight minus nine plus four minus two third digits five minus nine plus seven minus three see i'm writing these to tell you the steps but when i do it for myself I'll be doing directly 0 minus 6 is minus 6 minus 6 plus 5 is minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3 like that okay so you don't have to write this these are all steps of mental maths so what do we get here in the first number minus 6 minus 2 plus 5 minus 8 plus 5 is minus 3 and then we get minus 1 plus 4 3 3 minus 2 is 1 and finally uh, 7 plus 5 12 minus 12 is 0 so after getting these three numbers now comes the difference here the first number was positive the first number was positive here also now we have a negative number and whenever we have a negative number your answer will always be negative of something and that something is obtained by reducing this number 3 by 1 so this becomes 2 and then subtracting this from 10 so 10 minus 1 and th the 0 is not going to change so what is the answer negative 2 and 10 minus 1 is 9 and a 0 now you can pick up the calculators and check minus 290 is the answer for this particular question likewise if you have uh, four digits here see you have four digits so the method doesn't change the mental math step of writing the first digit 6 minus 1 minus 8 plus 6 Second digits 5 minus 0 minus 5 plus 3. Third digits 2 minus 4 minus 2 plus 9. And finally the fourth digits 8 minus 6 minus 4 plus 4. Right? These are mental math steps. And what are the numbers we are going to get? Now that is more important. What numbers do you get? So if you simplify this, you get 3. If you simplify this, you get 3 again. If you simplify this, 2, 2 and 2 cancel out, so this is 5. And if you simplify this, 4 cancels out and you get 2. And when you have all positive numbers, you don't need to worry. 3, 3, 5, 2 itself is the correct answer for this particular question. So that was simple, right? Uh, sometimes the question looks scary, but it is very simple because you are getting all positive numbers. Likewise, here we have a question where 3 numbers are 4 digits and one of them is Three digits so when you have a three digit number be careful put a zero and then start the mental math step minus four plus zero minus three plus six minus three plus four minus three uh, plus five minus eight plus nine minus eight and plus nine and then minus seven plus nine minus two plus three so let's see what numbers do you get when you add and subtract these numbers which are written here. So if you see carefully, the first one is just minus 1. The second one here is 3 and then 2 and then here 2 cancels out and 3. So minus 1, 3, 2, 3 are the numbers. Now watch carefully what happens here. So, the leading uh, term that this is negative, right? So, your answer is going to be negative. And negative of what? Negative of, now you've got to make 
changes in the other numbers the other three numbers because the leading number is negative so let's reduce this one by uh, one that is zero so one reduced by one is zero and subtract this from 10 so 10 minus 3 7 and then 2 and a 3 now this is the first step this is not the answer this is the first step now after that we have to do one more time reduce this by 1 and subtract this from 10 so what do you get now negative of 0 doesn't matter right 0 is in uh, it's the leading uh, uh, number so we don't write 0 so 7 reduced by 1 becomes 6 and 10 minus 2 becomes 8 and then we have the 3 so we have minus 6 8 3 and when we get minus 6 8 3 again we need to reduce this by 1 and subtract this from 10 so what answer will you get now minus 6 8 becomes 7 and 3 means 10 minus 3 7 and now you can pick up the calculators and check minus 677 is that the correct answer and you will be really surprised that it is indeed the correct answer let's complicate the problem now see the problems written here 5 digit 5 digit 5 digit 5 digit 5 4 3 4 4 and 5 right so mix problem and more challenging ones now so we need to first see the uh, corresponding digits so can we do it directly this time let's try 3 minus 4 minus 1 plus 5 is plus 6 is 5 5 minus 3 is 2 so i keep on writing the digits 2 minus 8 minus 6 plus 8 is 2 2 minus 9 is minus 7 see this is how you need to do it 6 minus 9 is minus 3 minus 3 and minus 9 is minus 12 5 minus 9 minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2 minus 2 minus 8 is minus 10 and finally we have the last one 3 minus 5 minus 2 minus 2 plus 4 is 2 2 minus 1 is 1 See, I told you it is mental math step and we can get rid of all the five steps there. All the five steps there and now the hard thing thing is this, this is positive. So when this is positive, you just have to convert these numbers into positive. So how do you do that? Uh, you have to borrow one from here. Okay. So one retains its place. 10 minus 10 becomes 0 and this becomes negative 13 and negative 7 and 2 now you have to borrow 2 from here because this will get subtracted from 20 we have 1 0 and what happens to this this becomes 7 and now since this has given away 2 this becomes minus 9 and finally it has to borrow 1 and subtract uh, get subtracted from 10 so final answer will be 1 0 7 1 and 1 so 11701 one, is the answer for this question. So we can go on and on like this and apply this on some big numbers here, you can see. So I need 10 here because this is 5 digit uh, 5. So 3 means 2, 2 zeros here, 5 and 10 here. So I'm just writing that for my reference, okay? So let's see what numbers do you get. The first number. I do it orally now. 6 minus 0 plus 0, 6 minus 8 is minus 2 and so minus 2. Here you have the first number. Second, 5 minus 3, 2. 2 minus 9, minus 7, minus 7, minus 7. So we have minus 14. And then we have 3 minus 0, 3 plus 8, 11. 11 minus 4 is 7, 7 minus 3 is 4. Fourth digit 8 minus 5 is 3, 3 plus 9 is 12, 12 minus 4 is 8, 8 minus 3 is 5. And finally we have the last digit 2 minus 1, 1, 1 plus 7, 8, 8 minus 9 is minus 1, minus 1 minus 6 is minus 7. See the earlier you get these numbers correct the easier will the, be the problem. So what do we do after this now? You can see that the leading coefficient is negative. Now this one is the key there. So if that is negative, you got to ignore the negatives here 
Now this is the first positive, so I have to take care of the positive first. Okay. So what will I do? You uh, just check what am I doing here? Negative two, negative. Now the fourteen becomes thirteen. Okay. Whenever you have the leading quotient as negative, you have to take care of this. And prior to that, you have negative fourteen, so fourteen becomes thirteen, and this gets subtracted from ten. Right. So ten minus four that becomes six. And now five and minus seven. That's the first step. Now I take care of this five. So similar thing I have to do now with five. Minus two, minus thirteen. Now the six becomes five, and this gets subtracted from ten. So ten minus five is five, and then you have the negative seven. So minus two, minus thirteen, five, five, minus seven, and now comes the. Most important step here: you have a two-digit number. Whenever you have a two-digit number, just carry forward the tens digit to here, so two becomes three. So minus, see, uh, just ignore the negatives, okay? Minus of because the leading quotient is negative, the answer is going to be negative. So if you have a two-digit number, carry forward the tens digit, so three, uh, two becomes three, and then you have a three here, five here, five here, and a seven here. See? Now you can become the calculator and check minus three three five five seven is that the correct answer? And if this works and you practice fifty such questions, I tell you, point one percent people can do it this way. Okay, so let's come to the uh, climax of the day, the big question there, and let's see what are the uh, mental math steps. So six digits, so put a zero six digit, right? Two zeros, so six digit, six digit, three zeros. Okay. And one zero, right? So very quickly we have to find what are the numbers. So uh, minus one plus zero zero uh, is seven seven. That is the first number. The second one is minus six plus six zero and zero uh, nine zero nine minus six is three. Second number is three. Likewise, I'll calculate it mine. Right, so I get a negative number now, minus three, and then fourth digit. Right, so again I get a positive number seven, and then the fifth digit. Okay, so I I have another positive number four, and finally the last one, minus eight plus eight zero minus five plus one minus four. Uh, uh, two, two minus. So, so we have a negative, negative two. So once you get all these numbers and you see the leading number, it is positive. So very easy. Borrow one from here, subtract this from ten. Uh, Borrow one from here, subtract this from ten. So you will get your answer. Seven, three becomes two. Seven, and then seven, four becomes three, and ten minus two, eight. Wow. Seven two, seven seven. Three eight. That is the correct answer for the question which I gave you as a climax question in the beginning of the video. So friends, lot of practice required. Obviously, you know you need to play with numbers in your mind. And if you are able to do that, no, uh, you know, competitive exam is difficult for you. So if you like this video, do share it with all your friends. Practice hundred such questions before telling anyone that you know the trick. Okay. So you got to be really careful. Do share the video with all your WhatsApp groups. Do not forget to subscribe the channel and click the bell shaped icon for getting all the notifications. Do look for more such amazing videos on Suresh Agarwal's mathematics shortcuts. Till then, all the best for your practice.